Money 101 with Bob McCormick, featuring the Wall Street Journal, the place to manage your money and your life. And now, here's Bob McCormick. Every day, 9 to 11, your personal finance connection in Southern California. I'm Bob McCormick, talking all things money including jobs, which is our job, our mission, since we began the program. And we are getting the best news that we've had since we've been on the air about jobs. And every day, you find out who's hiring in Los Angeles, Orange County. This is something you don't get anywhere else, folks. Entertainment industry companies are the specialty of the week. These companies are in a hiring mode. They're the names you know, and they're probably companies that you've never heard of, but are involved in commercial production, are involved in animation, are involved in digital media, which is huge, and L.A. has a big part of it. 15,000 jobs created in the entertainment industry in the month of February. Tomorrow's going to be a huge day. Today, saving money and making your home more valuable. You know, folks, there's a lot of people who are putting homes on the market, who are staging homes for sale, even for a lease. And by the way, there are a lot of folks trying to get top dollar to rent and wait till the market comes back to list for sale. My guest is the host of Home Wizards that you hear every weekend, Saturdays on KFWB, Cindy Dole. Good hey. <laughs> Man, it's great to see you. It's great to be here with you, Bob. And yeah. your work over the last few years has really been timely because, let's face it, uh, it's the most valuable asset we've got for those of us mm-hmm. who are home or condo owners, and we're very concerned about keeping that value higher. And we're concerned about just, yeah, just keeping it, period. And, and, and also, we want to kind of make ourselves feel pampered because, you know, let's face it, it's depressing, all that news out there. And so that's what my mission is, to help, like you, mm-hmm. people have the knowledge to be empowered, to, to make more money, to make their home more valuable, but also to make it what I call the ah experience, to come home and feel yeah, yeah, like, you yeah. know, I've arrived, I'm at home, and life is pretty darn good. If you have a backyard that is your Shangri-La, there are things you can do that are not that expensive, and, of course, that's what we're all about on Money 101. There are also things you can do to be more environmentally friendly mm-hmm. and to save huge amounts of money. We're covering that today. Mm-hmm. We're going to look at what is the most valuable improvement you can make. Is it still the kitchen? Is it the bathroom? We'll talk about that. But the first guest is Stephen Rawls, and he's with the Reese Companies in Riverside. Stephen, how you doing? I'm doing great, Bob. How are you? I'm great, and you know Cindy Dole, of course. Absolutely. Cindy, so nice to uh, hear your voice. Well, you know, Bob, this whole energy upgrade program you probably are all aware of it it's it's uh it's huge and california is really leading the way in the country it's it's a federal and state program to get all these homes which especially ours on, on the west coast really yeah. weren't built to to be efficient they really weren't insulated well like those on the east coast and so there's all these different things you can do maybe the word green isn't the right word that clicks with you yeah. some you people know, have a political it connotation yeah. for and it, and this you know. isn't meant yeah. to be political it's really meant from a purely um you know, whatever your baby steps or big steps approach is to save some money, to save some energy and go, you know what? Wow, I can do this and I can I can afford my utility bills now. Yeah. And so with this program, what they're doing all up and down the state, they launched it a, a couple of weeks ago, is they're, they're inviting homeowners to have their homes assessed. And so there's a bunch of contractors that had to go through some steps to make sure they truly are legit to be that assessor. And Stephen is one of them. And well, so, so let me ask you, Stephen, yeah. what what is the certification? that one should look for for someone in your field? Well, in, in order to properly assess a home, there's a few governing bodies, but BPI is the Building Performance Institute, and that seems to be the, uh, the overarching regulatory body that we all had to be. What is BPI? What does that stand for? It's the Building Performance Institute. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And is that, that's a national or is that It's California? a national okay. organization, and in order to participate in this program, you must be certified by BPI. Okay, tell us a little bit about the assessment that you do. Well, BPI, their their whole thinking is um, the relationships between the different components of of a home, right? So there's a relationship between the way a home is framed and the way it's insulated, and the way it's insulated and the way the HVAC cycles through. So BPI just wants to make sure all the contractors understand all of those relationships and are properly diagnosing a home. Because the idea here is to diagnose exactly what's wrong with a home. The idea isn't to go into a home and try to sell 
upgrades on new windows when new windows mm-hmm. are unnecessary. Mm-hmm. The oh, sometimes there's a, there's a leak yeah. in what you're talking about, that insulation. It may be in the attic. It may be – sometimes it's in the walls, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wall insulation is a huge, huge problem. Uh, very, very few of the homes in California have an adequate amount of both wall and attic. Um, but the idea is to go in a home and properly assess – what would be the most cost-effective solution for that home? So, Stephen, kind of paint a picture for Bob and for everybody listening. It's kind of like Ghostbusters. You go in with this very high-tech, you know, mm-hmm. kind of goofy equipment, and you walk through, and, and you have um, extra sensory perception of what our homes are not doing right. Well, it is. It's a little bit like CSI. I mean, we're going in and we're collecting data because we don't want it to be guesswork. We don't want to be selling products. What we want to do is we want to be diagnosing exactly what's wrong. So the first thing we're doing is we're CAS testing, which is your combustion appliance zone testing. We create the worst-case scenario in your home. We create a vacuum effect in your home, and we make sure you're never pulling any carbon or any gas into your home. Then we're doing things like running a blower door test where we literally depressurize your home at 50 pascals of pressure so we can measure exactly how leaky your building envelope is. So you find out how much, essentially, how much energy is being wasted. How much energy is just leaking just through your walls, through your windows, through your attic penetrations. We can actually measure. I can go into a home, I can run this test, and I can say you have the equivalent of a one-foot by three-foot hole just leaking into the outside of your home, just a giant gaping hole. And that would cost us what a month? I mean, that's just amazing. Oh, I mean, and that's, losses. That's huge. If you have a, a very leaky home in the summer when they're running their air conditioner in the winter when they're running their heater, they literally are just throwing the dollars away through the attic penetrations, through the wall cavity penetrations, through the you know improper seals around doors and windows. But when you look at things like duct leakage, it's the same thing. We can measure the exact percentage of air that's leaking out of your ducts. So we can tell you empirically you're leaking 26% of the air out of your ducts. Boy, I'll tell you, I've been there. I know it's happened to us. We've had the work done twice when we bought the house and then subsequently about a year and a half ago, which, of course, calls into question the first people that came in Mm. and did this. (laughs) Uh, And uh, the bills just skyrocketed. All right. Stephen Rawls is with us of the Reese Companies. We're getting just touching the basis of this. We're actually going to talk to someone who's had this work done, a homeowner. Exactly, a client of Stevens, in fact, and he he lives in a 100-year-old home. You can imagine oh, how no. inefficient it was yeah. and what they're going to do to just make it really airtight. All right, that and more. Plus, what does this cost? Uh, and you, he mentioned that you know the idea here is not to stick a homeowner with a big bill. There are things you can do. Naturally, sometimes the payoff mm-hmm. comes over a period of years. And there's some rebates, exactly. Rebates, yep. and we're going to get into that as well as everything else. On Money 101, this is your personal finance connection on KFWB News Talk 980. I'm Bob McCormick, and the host of Home Wizard is with us, Cindy Dole. And let me tell you that if you've got a question about anything you hear on this program, our lines are open to you at 888-539-2980, 888-539-2980. You may get a busy signal here in a moment or two, but we'll clear it up for you. 888-539-2980 on Money 101. Hey, Bob McCormick, Money 101, and for over a decade in the solar industry, thousands of installs later, REC Solar is the expert when it comes to saving money. We've talked about their free resource website, ExposeSolar.com. Now I want you to check out the Solar Savings Estimator, and let me tell you how it works. You just log on to ExposeSolar.com, and you enter your zip code and basic information about your monthly energy bill. Then the estimator takes the job from there. It shows you everything you need to know about going solar, including how much you save with solar from the first day of install through 25 years of ownership, the payments, which, by the way, the down is as low as zero, the size system you need, and what your new electric bill is going to look like. Be ready for negative, folks. How much your home value will increase and so much more. And this is all free. It only takes a few seconds. So go to ExposeSolar.com and check out the Solar Savings Estimator. And if you have questions, you can call them toll-free. They're there to help. 888-OK-SOLAR. That's 888-OK-SOLAR. Visit ExposeSolar.com today. See how much you could be saving with the Solar Savings Estimator. And give them a call at 888 888- 
OK Solar. This is Money 101 with Bob McCormick, featuring the Wall Street Journal. Every day, 9 to 11, right here. Abercrombie and Fitch has 65 jobs in Los Angeles, folks. AC Nielsen, the television measuring people, 45 SoCal jobs. And A. Ackle Brands has 40 jobs. Look, the list goes on. Tomorrow's the big day. We get the jobs report. We got a little glimpse today. And joining us from the Wall Street Journal, Bill Fantini. So far, so good. We've been getting reports that show fewer people filing claims, Bill, and That's more people right, hiring. Bob. New claims for unemployment benefits fell by 6,000 last week to a seasonally adjusted 388,000. Since mid-February, claims have been close to or below 400,000, and that's uh, an indication that the economy is actually gaining more jobs than it is shedding. Now, uh, a little twist in here. There's been a change in methods. The Labor Department is using new seasonal factors to calculate its data, and that's causing a slight increase in the numbers. So uh, it would have been better looking under the old method, but still uh, the most reliable indicator is the four-week moving average of new claims. That smooths out the weekly volatility. Uh, That shows we had a rise of uh, 3,250 over the past four weeks, uh, counting this past week, to 394,000, which is still below that 400,000 mark. It's uh, it's all statistical jabberwocky, as far as I'm concerned, right? You know, you know what the situation is if your neighbor is unemployed or you're unemployed or you're making less than you used to or you're doing two jobs for the same money. I mean, it's pretty much anecdotal for everybody, and it's different in every region of the country. Bill, the big deal is tomorrow, of course, with the Labor Department. What are we looking for? I've, I've been hearing, if it's anything less than 200,000 jobs created in the public and private sector, things are going to be a little bleak looking. Well, actually, economists are expecting an increase of 195,000 jobs. So that is below 200,000. Uh, and and that has investors hesitant ahead of the government's release tomorrow. That's the non-farm payrolls data for March for this month. All right, let's take a look at the, where we stand right now on Wall Street, sir. Well, we are at the final session of the best first quarter in more than a decade. And uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average has been on a seesaw all morning, uh, mostly because of the hesitance over the data coming out tomorrow. Right now, we are down, down, down. The Dow Jones Industrial Average off uh, almost seven points at 12,344. NASDAQ Composite has lost almost three points. The S&P 500 has given back one point. And, of course, we're always going to have some volatility. In fact, the fact that we don't have a bigger sell-off uh, and if the S&P is still above 1325 is important to a lot of folks. But we should also point out oil prices up another two bucks today. All right. Thank you, Bill Fantini of the Wall Street Journal. I'm Bob McCormick on Money 101. Home garden and all things life improvement expert Cindy Dole is with us. You can hear her Home Wizards program every Saturday, 2 to 4 p.m. on KFWB. And joining us is Stephen Rawls of the Reese Companies in Riverside. He's talked about building performance institute certification for the so-called green experts. And we're Mm -hmm. trying to look for a better way, but to be environmentally efficient in your home. And and we do have a call from a uh, uh, an apartment dweller, so let me just uh, ask, that is not really covered because you're all, the landlord or the owner of the building has to make any The landlord approval. needs to make the changes, but yeah. let's do, see what they're asking. Yeah, yeah. well, he, yeah, he, he, went, he couldn't hold, but okay. that's, what I, uh, that's the situation. So, right? st- so, Steve, yeah, can you get to that point? What should an apartment dweller do because it, is it not on the heels of the, the, the owner of the building? You know, unfortunately, larger capital investments to the apartment... Um, you know, nobody's want to, going to want to take on that burden when they're just renting. But there are small things that people can do. If you just wanted to look to silicone caulk around uh, leaky windows, if you wanted to make sure that uh, your hot water pipes were wrapped, if you have your own hot water heater, uh, maybe even blanket that hot water heater, if you wanted to inf- install a low-flow shower head or an aerator in your shower. And there's a lot of little things that you can do that, you know, add up and can attribute to, you know, 5, 7, 10 percent savings. And there's nothing wrong with putting this in, in a little memo with your rent check to the landlord or the hey, owner of the yeah, building exactly. about, you know, I think we can save some money here. and It helps everybody. It's improving. And, Steve, how much is the assessment when you come in with all this gear and you walk through our homes and, and tell us, you know, well, guess what, that, that home of yours that's maybe 20, 50 years old, not so much? Yeah, 
uh, you know, assessments, an, an energy audit goes anywhere from $99 to $299. We're a vertically integrated company. We, um, we can do a lower cost assessment because we do all of our construction in-house. And we're a general and insulation and a heating and air conditioning company. Um, you know, some of our competitors just specialize in doing the assessments. And mm-hmm. Their business model is a little different. Can I, can I ask you, I'm going to ask you a couple of dumb questions. Uh, number one, we're talking about e- electrical, but also heating and air conditioning. Are you talking electrical, too? I mean, are there, are there dollars wasted? I mean, can you do something short of going solar? To save on your electric bill, oh, other than using your huge, appliances less, yeah, huge, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's. I mean, you can save almost as much on just your basic tier one energy efficiency improvements as you could by installing solar panels on your roof at a fraction of the cost, or maybe ten percent of the cost. And the air conditioning units have changed. The heating yeah. units have changed. In fact, uh, can we bring in Larry? Yeah, Larry Schroeder is uh, also the mayor pro tem of Claremont, as well as a, a green energy consumer. Hey, hey, Larry, thanks for being with us here. Morning. What did you have done to your house? What, what, what did uh, Stephen do? Well, so far we've had the assessment done. We've looked at it. I've actually had two companies look at my house, and uh, one looked at an overall package, and it turned out that uh, it would be quite, uh, quite expensive. And so I turned into, I looked at piecemealing it, and we got a hold of Stephen's company, and he did the assessment again. Both agreed I couldn't go with solar panels. But we decided to start out with uh, doing the duct work and uh, insulating the attic and around the middle of the house. Uh, we have, I live in a 100-year-old house, so we have two stories. And uh, we expect to get about a 25% reduction in our uh, energy costs. And that's in addition to the rebates of upwards of $4,500. Now, how do you get the rebates? Well, th- this is why you really need a company that is licensed and, and certified in this. Uh, you go through the utility companies, you go through the county, and the uh, application forms are quite extensive. So I've looked at companies that can fill it out for you. You actually have to use a a program-approved contractor to administer the rebate for you. Is this state or both? It's 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 state, state and and basically the state is putting contractors like Stephen through the paces to make sure that they're legit, and then those who have have passed the test, so to speak, are listed on the, the website, Energy. Uh, energy, what is energy it again? EnergyUpgradeCA.org. Yeah, EnergyUpgradeCA.org. And there's a list of all the contractors who uh, qualify. Now, so if this is, you're doing it yourself, you're not going to qualify for it. I mean, it has to be certified by yes. That's right. Right. someone. Okay. If you have a question about going green and doing these assessments, we invite you to call because uh, we've got Stephen Rawls with us of the Reese Company and Cindy Dole, of course, host of Home Wizards, and our toll-free number is 888-539-2980. That's 888-KFWB980. We're going to cover all aspects of, number one, making your home more energy efficient, and number two, improving the value, and number three, having more fun (laughs) in the place where you spend so much of your time, and more of us are spending more time at home. Well, and and speaking of value, Stephen, how much more valuable is an energy efficient home if you know someone wanted to not only make it you know greener but on the market is that what people want to buy? You know, I think there is a demand for this. It's difficult to uh, you know get an absolute you know percentage increase. I mean, I've, I've seen a National Association of Realtors number that said having an energy efficient home increases the value by seven for ten percent. It makes sense, and let me tell you, uh, KB Home is no dummy in building homes. They got ten developments going up that are all based on on solar power and being energy efficient. More to come on Money 101, 888-539-2980 is our toll-free number. That's 888-KFWB-980. I'm Bob McCormick, and this is Southern California's Personal Finance Connection on KFWB. This is Money 101 with Bob McCormick. Featuring the Wall Street Journal. Every day, 9 to 11, right here. Personal finance is the specialty on Money 101. Today, home improvement inside, outside your house. And with us, Cindy Dole, the host of Home Wizards. We have also on the line Steve Rawls of the Reese Companies in Riverside. They do this energy assessment that lets you know exactly how much you can save by doing things from minor to major work to save energy, and one of his 
customers, Larry Schroeder, who is the mayor pro tem of Claremont. And uh, Larry, want to ask you, you, you did a number of things like improving the insulation. You did not go solar. What did you actually have done and how much did it cost you? Well, we haven't had it done yet. We've had the assessment. We're waiting for the rebates to be approved. But we will do the um, ducting work up in the attic uh, to make that more efficient, and then that will be literally buried in the insulation, both upstairs and around the center floor. And I know you mentioned before about uh, increasing the price of your home. Remember, this also increases the comfort of the home. I have a two-story home, and downstairs is usually very pleasant, but upstairs, especially on days like this, gets very, very warm. And in the winter, it can be very cold. So it increases the usability of your home and also reduces your uh, energy uh, costs throughout the year. And, Steve, if you're still there, can you explain to the do-it-yourselfers why we can't do this ourselves? Hey, Steve, are you with us? Sounds like he dropped his coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, just a second. Uh, we want to give the number out because folks who, uh, who have a question for Stephen Rawls can call us at 888-539-2980. That's 888-KFWB-980. And uh, we'll free up the line. Larry, thank you very much for being with us. Hey, Absolutely. Steve, uh, tell us, what, for, first off, what was the estimate? When he has this work done, what is the insulation and the work? What do you estimate it's going to cost him? Steve? Uh, well, I guess he's okay. All right, I guess we'll uh, we'll try to reconnect. I can tell you, it's, it, it can cost anywhere from ten thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars. It just depends. I mean, and it could be even less than that. It could be you know a thousand dollars. You have options after you get this assessment. It's up to you then to decide. Okay, what are you going to do with it? But the dangling carrot is the state saying, Hey, everybody, you're going to get up to forty five hundred dollars in rebates if you go with the whole enchilada. And so remember, go to the website energyupgradeca.org, and it has all the information there. And you can sure. find the contractors that have passed this test to give you the assessment and then to make the improvements, and then you decide based on your budget. And, you know, speaking of being green and, and saving, I mean, things that are even cheaper than that, like changing out your appliances, changing your toilet can save huge right, on right, your water. Right, and right. so, and we're going to get to that in just a second. Well, uh, you had solar done to your place. I did. And, you know, and Larry was explaining that he lives in a shady neighborhood of Claremont. That's why he opted not to go for it. We live in a very, very shady area of Glendale. And uh, we went with the panels. We're saving several hundred a month. And in spite of our very shady conditions, I mean, the sun sets at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Um, they, they position the panels in such a way that it still absorbs the juice. And there's all these new innovations on the horizon. It's solar tiles for the home. I mean, you yeah. name it. So the good news is, is there's a lot of stuff ahead that's going to make it more affordable and smarter for us just to get, you know, safe. Did California put a limit on the number of people that could qualify for this It's credit? until the money runs out. Until the, that's the way it, it is. It always is. With, that, with the home yeah. tax credit yeah. and everything. All right, very good. Now. We want to upgrade the kitchen and the bath because these two will bring you the most bang for your buck. Not right? only the bang Not, for the buck, yeah. but we live in the kitchen. That's of the course. heart of the home, and you know, well, we might live in the you, bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you may. Eileen Atwood is uh, money saving uh, as the CEO of Sierra Custom Kitchens, uh, and uh, she does the work. And she's the specialist. That's point out, Eileen, why it's important to have a specialized kitchen and bath designer, which is different than the regular designer. Well, we've gone to school for all of these um, innovative ideas, and uh, we've been I've been working on it for 28 years in the kitchen and bath field, and uh, just the uh, ideas of how to make the uh, space more efficient of even walking to a refrigerator, sink, dishwasher, all the prep area, as they call it, the triangle. And um, that's very, very important, not only for that, but also for the uh, energy efficiency of the dishwasher and the faucets and the refrigerators. And by the way, the refrigerators, the dishwashers, mm-hmm. we're all qualifying for, yep. for rebates as well. What about, i got to ask you about the gas stoves. Uh, there that- are... Uh, many, many choices uh, yeah, uh, of gas stoves. But, but, what, but is question? there any way to save money, I mean, on the energy bill with the kind of gas stove you have? It's gas is gas, right? The gas yeah. is gas, yeah. yes. All right. So the electric stoves, though, that can be a big saving. Yes, that is. Um, the, uh, the, the one type of a range that they're talking about nowadays is, a, um, is an electric range that is called induction. And the induction is actually uh, less energy using because 
it's not like a gas range where they're heating up the house. And it's fast. It's kind of like a microwave. very fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yes. it cooks a turkey like in a half an hour. Well, just the cooktop <laughs> itself doesn't get, doesn't radiate any heat until you put a pan on it that is magnetized. And that's what creates the induction part of it. And that's where you're going to save a lot of money yeah. by not even heating up the house mm-hmm. with the gas sure. range. What, does the, uh, what do these new types of appliances, how much more expensive are they, like the induction? Well, the induction... Induction is on the higher uh, range of um, stoves, but if you did it in a 30-inch range, then you're probably in a lower budget type of a range. Mm-hmm. But if you're getting into these cooktops of Viking and all of those upper echelons, then they can run anywhere from $1,500 uh, up to $7,000 for sure. a range. I know. You can spend a lot of money on, on some of those appliances. So explain that the kitchen remodel of 2011, I mean, it's kind of changed from the past few years. I mean, we were seeing kitchen remodels in the six figures, and you probably <laughs> still see them, right? I do. But but you explain the three different kinds of budgets that we could realistically um, accomplish. Well, the lowest budget would be something like uh, if their cabinets are in still good shape, they can refinish the cabinetry, maybe change out the countertops and a little bit of the backsplash, upgrade an appliance or two to, again, get that efficiency appliance. Uh, the second one would be uh, tearing out your cabinetry or refacing your cabinetry, upgrading a few more appliances. You're looking into that 30000 plus area. The, the mm-hmm. previous one was mm-hmm. in the 10000 plus area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the uh, major remodel, which is tearing out all of your cabinetry, um, purchasing $30,000 worth it, of appliances. Isn't that the biggest <laughs> ticket item, the cabinetry? It, it is, very yeah. much so. Anywhere from $25,000 for a cabinet order up to 150000 no. for just a cabinet order. This is why we're thinking about repainting. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's why she mentioned the yeah. three types of uh, yeah. things. You always have to find out what your budget is. And often your dream doesn't coincide with the budget. That is you true. Know? I often have people that come in and they don't even want to give you what their budget is. I don't know if it's a fear that they have. Well, it's because they know it's going to be higher before they're done. Is that a possibility? It's a possibility, <laughs> and they don't want to release that information to you. But it's, <laughs> it's very, very important information. I know. And we'll explain you know? why. Eileen Atwood, we're also going to move to the, uh, the bathroom. Whether it's a master bath or you got more than one bath, what you need to do, what you need to think about, and what is the budget. I'm Bob McCormick with the host of Home Wizard, Cindy Dole. On a special edition here of Money 101, it's spring home improvement time. You got a question for our guests? Please feel free. 888-539-2980 is our toll-free number. That's 888-KFWB-980. Coming up, we'll update Wall Street and the best seat on the airplane. What you need to know on Money 101. You're listening to Money 101 with Bob McCormick, featuring the Wall Street Journal. 9 to 11 every day, people are hiring in all areas right across the board. You're going to find out more. Wall Street update for you. The Dow is higher, up by 7.5. The S&P 500 above 1325. Very important that it stay above there. We're up a fraction of 1328. The NASDAQ is pretty much flat. Everybody on hold for tomorrow's big jobs report. And we've got a special on where the jobs are in Southern California, as we always do. Right now, if you're traveling, you've got to do the price comparison on the ticket to get the best deal, uh, whether you're flying a specific airline or you're comparing flights. But when it comes to getting a seat on the plane that you like, Scott McCartney's middle seat column in today's Wall Street Journal really nails it. It's all about seat guru, right, Scott? Well, you can go on every airline and get the seating chart, but uh, the airlines don't tell you which seats are bad. Uh, they may tell you which seats are good. They may tell you which seats they want to charge you extra for. Uh, but even some of the seats that they want to charge you extra for have uh, have serious um, drawbacks. And so um, I like SeatGuru. Uh, it's become the, the authoritative uh, go-to site for uh, frequent travelers and, and people who fly just once a year, too. Uh, even even airline folks are, are using it uh, in some reservation centers because 
uh, you can get accurate information and, and the pluses and minuses of, of individual seats. Tell me about Seat Guru and the way to use it on the individual airlines. What what are they giving us, uh, the type of plane? So you got to know the kind of plane you're flying, right? You do, and when you're shopping, you can look at different types of planes. If it's, you know, comfort is important to you, and I think it's important to lots of people, um, you ought to shop as much on, on comfort and, and what's available um, in terms of seating um, as well as price. If there's a small price difference, uh, but uh, on one airline you can get a comfortable seat and on, the, on another airline you're not going to be able to on, on that flight, uh, it, it really can make a difference. So uh, write down what uh, the type of plane on the flight you're looking at. Um, and, uh, go to SeatGuru.com, and for uh, 100 different airlines around the world, they have 720 different uh, airplane types. Um, you can click on... Uh, if you're going on a United 757 and comparing that to a Delta 757, um, look at, uh, gee, these seats are great. Uh, these seats are, are not desirable. Uh, Delta offered me uh, the chance to reserve one that uh, looks like a great seat, so I'm going to take Delta. All right, Scott McCarty, middle seat column of the Wall Street Journal. Uh, no matter what airline you fly, seat guru could probably help you get the best seat. All right, the best seat in the house? Can be the master bathroom. Cindy, <laughs> Cindy Dole. <laughs> but oh, boom. Segue, Thank you Cindy. for that. Host of, uh, <laughs> host of Home Wizards on Saturday at Camp Well, Olympic. it is the throne, as they say. It is the throne. <laughs> and I'll tell you, um, I like spending time in our big master bathroom. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's a spa experience. I mean, no matter what you're doing in the bathroom, getting ready for work, taking a bath, taking a nice shower, you want that rainforest experience. I mean, there's so many new materials where it's all about making you feel like you're in a resort. You're in Bali. You're in Vegas. You're wherever because we want to get rid of the stress. And not only do we want that, but we want to save water. And, and you know, the toilet is the biggest water sure. hog. There, uh, Eileen Atwood is a specialist in kitchen and, and bath with uh, Sierra Custom Kitchens. And what is the uh, total? Total. I, I, we've got the that. washlet. The, the washlet. Yeah, no. right. That's yeah. one of the state of the art. But but I want to get into something else because yeah. the jacuzzi tub is my favorite. And one of the things that I made a mistake on. Well, I shouldn't say a mistake because it's hard to really tell until you use how strong the jets are going to be. Mm, it's not strong enough for you, huh? You know, I mean, it's in wimpy. a commercial jacuzzi. I mean, that almost blows you out. Where, but I want that. I want that feel like someone is definitely yeah. putting pressure on that. You want a shiatsu massage, shiatsu not massage. this mamby pamby stuff. How much do I got to pay for that kind of tub? Oh gosh, probably anywhere from five thousand and up. Well, I would uh, think. five thousand uh, uh, that's uh, pretty reasonable. I mean, you, you think about how much you know it costs you that for a hot tub in the back here. Yes, that is true. Uh, it's certainly not going to use a air bath for you then, are mm -hmm. we? It's just bubble bath <laughs> yeah, type yeah. thing. But yeah, the jacuzzi tubs can anywhere be from 5000 to $10,000 on an average. Mm -hmm. I would think that if you want to have more jets, then you're going to have uh, more in the lumbar areas where you're going to yeah. look for that's that, what, that's um, except you for, you know, instead of all the way around you. Exactly. You really want that one that's, that's right, right down the lumbar. Very good. Now, let's talk about the, mm -hmm. the cost of the bathroom remodel. Yeah, I mean, first we can just replace the toilet for? Um, probably anywhere from about uh, $200. Easy. And then, of course, changing the shower head, less than $100. But the really nice... That's a big water saver. Right? Huge water yes, saver. Yes, it is. Uh, but if we wanted to really trick out our bathroom, could we do this for maybe twenty grand? Uh, yes, you could. Mm -hmm. um, you could do it on a, on a low scale for 20, 20 grand. Depends upon how large the bathroom is and whether or not uh, other other materials, such as all the stone and mm -hmm. the tiles, what, what that costs, costs you other than just those um, manufacturers of the shower heads and the fixtures and all of that. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, now the big expense is usually the flooring I also made a mistake by not ordering the heating floor. It was going to cost oh. another two grand. Oh, oh darn it. man. Yeah, yeah. On these, this winter we've had? <laughs> oh. In, in, in a drop of the bucket, it's not that expensive. And the towel warmers. Heat your floor. you got to have the towel warmers, yes. too. Towel you know? warmers. Yes, you uh -huh. can. You have to have a towel warmer either on the wall, mounted on the floor, or there are some that you can put into a warming drawer. If you don't want to put it into like your marble flooring like, like or your idea. marble mm -hmm. walls, mm -hmm. so you can put it into the cabinet tree into about a 24-inch wide drawer. As long as it's the type that has the heated elements that are hidden. Now, if we can't afford you for a full-blown project, the good news is we can still hire you or someone like you to consult. 
yes. to shop with us and to maybe help us do it ourselves, even though I know you prefer for us to write you a big check, but you can help us in a, in a baby step way too, right? The design process can run anywhere from about $750, which would help hmm. save a person a lot of money. And then we usually charge something like $100 per hour to do more consultations to take them to the tile store and mm-hmm. to advise them with you on guys. shopping <laughs> on the uh, fixtures as well. Yeah, yeah. Do uh, Can I ask you about the wall heaters? Because we put one of those in, and I have a feeling that's re- really soaking up the energy. That's electric. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you really need that in California. Also, no. with that floor heater, that would be a lot less because it's all on a thermostatic control. So Mm -hmm. you can just time it for early morning, and then it goes right off 20 minutes later, and you've only used 20 minutes of energy. So let's talk about the average home with two bathrooms. You got a kitchen. Do you do the the kitchen? Is it still number one over the bath? I think it depends. In terms of improving the value of the house. I'm I'm hearing that people can afford a bathroom quicker than a a, a kitchen right now. Yes, that is true. It is a smaller amount of space. And we're we're staying at home longer, so why not? Hey, it's all about me. Let's feel like Mm -hmm. we are again on vacation and, and have that bathroom feel. Luxurious. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Now, one one way that you can uh, save on water and uh, energy is to go to a little bit of a smaller tub versus the big, gigantic 42 well, by 72 yeah, inch that, bathtubs. That, that is a, a, because an you issue. can use a lot of gallons of water. A lot of gallons. It also, if you don't have a heater inside the bathtub, mm-hmm. the water is going to mm-hmm. get colder faster. Mm-hmm. Got it. So you're wasting a lot of water. Eileen Atwood of Sierra Custom Kitchens, the website, more information. SierraCustomKitchens.com. And Cindy Dole, the host of Home Wizards, with us as we move on. We're going to take care of you, folk. Hey, guys, you want a grill? What are the grills? What about your outdoor? Everything you need to know about improving the value of your home and saving money. And growing vegetables. Gosh, I forgot about that. (laughs) We're going to grow veggies. We're going to do everything with you here on Money 101. I'm Bob McCormick. You're listening to Buddy 101 on KFWB News Talk 980. Updating you on everything you need to know about the jobs market. Career Builder will be here. The news is incredible for the second quarter. And we're wrapping up Q1. That's right. It's springtime, folks, and home remodeling season is here on Buddy 101.